Welcome to the Disaster Contingency Specialist Tomahawk video. Now there's been some things in the news lately about tomahawks and there's some TV shows where people are prepping for doomsday and there's a guy on there that had his buckskins on and he's supposed to be some sort of kung fu mountain man showing you how to use a tomahawk as a weapon. Today we're going to talk about some of the realities of tomahawks and especially about throwing them. Now, I'm not just your average spaz. I've actually won a lot of competitions for tomahawk and knife throwing. This is not as easy as it looks. The key to throwing a tomahawk is throwing it consistently and judging your distance correctly. You've got to judge the distance so you know how much spin it'll make before it gets there. At this distance, it should make one complete rotation. Like that. Now we're a lot closer so I'll hold it backwards, it'll make a half spin and stick with the handle up. Like that. Now I'm quite a bit farther away and instead of making one full rotation, I'll hold it backwards, it'll make a rotation and a half and again stick with the handle up. Like that. Now I'm even farther away. I'm about 15 yards from it now. Now I'm far enough I'll throw it again with the blade forward and it'll take two full rotations and stick with the handle down. Like that. As we've been filming this, there's been thunderstorms going on. Finally the sun's coming out. Which is an apropos time to eat watermelon. Now we've talked about throwing some tomahawks and you've seen the basic principles of that. But how does the tomahawk fare as an actual weapon? Not bad at all. Oh, and this is seedless watermelon. I think I'll try some. That was kind of impressive, chopping that watermelon in half with just a little tomahawk blade. But when throwing a tomahawk, what kind of effect are you really going to get? Well, let's find out. Well, that sunk the blade in it. Kind of came off the handle a little bit. And split it pretty much in half. Not bad. Okay, it's raining again. Don't be surprised if you hear some thunder in the background. We're at 15 yards again. Let's see if I can hit the watermelon from here with a tomahawk. Well, I hit the block just fine, but not the watermelon. But let's see how the tomahawk compares to other weapons like this 38 revolver. Okay, well we hit it, and it went out the back, and mushed up the inside pretty good. So the 38, a little more practical than the Tomahawk? Yeah, probably. But the Tomahawk, at up close and personal distances, hell, that's not bad at all. Bottom line here is, Tomahawk is a formidable weapon. Throwing it, that's a parlor trick. Because what happens when you throw a Tomahawk at somebody, then you don't have a weapon because you threw it away, and now he's got two. The gun he brought and the tomahawk you just gave him. Keep that in mind. So, as always, thanks for watching the Disaster Contingency Specialist Tomahawk video, and don't try this at home. I'm what you call a professional. <laughs>